this PGA Tour event brought to you by 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the fifth major, the John Deere Classic, is about to start. Delighted to have your company for this third round action. Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam, and Rich, this player's been playing some impressive golf. They've got the lead, they're where they want to be, but what should be their mindset going into this round? Well, hopefully it's not on the chasing pack because the chasing pack is filled with some big names. So they're going to have to really bear down, focus on the task at hand. They've got to sit there and keep their emotions to themselves and not get wrapped up in everybody that's around them. Let's get down to the action. And let's see what he can do here today. That's a good-looking shot there. Time for the second shot into the first. John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, from where I am, it looks around 27 feet, I'd say. You always like that on long putts when you just have to go ahead and tap it in stress-free. Okay, so that finishes that hole. He's currently sitting in first place. Time to tee off at the second. Par five, 551 yards long. You want to cut the corner as much as possible to shorten your second shot on this par five. Should you do that, a very straightforward second shot will set up birdies and eagles all day long. Find the trouble off the tee and you'll find trouble on the rest of the hole. Don't fool yourself. Good shot, got a fair piece of that ball. And here we are with the third shot. Five feet coming up to the cup. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And this one is for his par. Oh, what a stroke. Ooh, right by the hole. And this one will be for bogey. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. We have a par three on this one. Par three, just 183 yards back up the hill. Semi-blind tee shot. Going with the eight iron here. Uh-oh, we're starting to hear roars from another part of the course. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Time to recap Billy Horschel's effort from just a short time ago. Just look what they're able to do with this putt from way out. Solid putt, that.
Okay, let's get back to the action. Hasn't managed to booty this hole this week. Hey, nice looking line. That's very impressive. It was nice to see that go in because it has been pretty darn ugly up to this point. And now that finds him in first place. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. We've arrived at a par four hole. Par four, 448 yards. Sweeping dog leg left to right, big tree in the middle, missed that, and you've got a simple second shot into a sliver of a green. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Time for the second shot here at the fourth. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. They've left us off a long way between the holes, so let's get this one close. Looking great now. Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes for the hole the whole way. And that will take him to two under. Let's get back to it, shall we? 14 feet to the cup. Go on, get in the hole. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. I like it. Two in a row. Still in the lead now after that hole. And after a birdie at the last, we'll take the honor on the hole. Par four, only 429 yards. This fairway chases away from the players down the hill. So tee shots will run forever, setting up a second shot that is very simple and straightforward. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Second shot here on the fifth. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two-putt for par would be just fine. A 
That's the right pace. This should drop. Bit too heavy handed there. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. It was on a good line. This next part is for Bogey. <laughs> Leading by eight strokes now after that hole. We have a short par four ahead of us here. Par four measures just 361 yards, but only the long players will try and drive this green. The others lay it up with an iron, wedge it on, hit it close, make your birdie. And let's take a look at this shot from just a moment ago. The scientist, Bryson DeChambeau, with a fantastic shot. Good look here for a second shot. And back to the course with the live action. Second shot here on the sixth. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Oh, nice looking putt. Wow, that's misjudged. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Teeing off here at the seventh. Par three, 224 yards down the hill. It seemingly plays short, but I can promise you it doesn't. Opting for the three wood. Oh, come on, sit. A tad wayward, but still on the surface. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? This is looking like 33 feet, I'd say, to the cut. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. And that will take him to three under. Okay, let's get back to the action. This is from miles away. Get in the hole. That's outstanding. What a putt. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. 
par four, just 380 yards, but every single shot plays uphill. Make sure to take plenty of club. That was absolutely murdered. Get down. Left yourself an opportunity. Birdie at the last. This for another. It's got a chance. And down it goes. So that's back to back birdies. I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Now, eight shots in front. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Par four, 485 yards, the toughest hole on the golf course. Make sure you find the fairway and get your second shot somewhere around the green to give yourself the best chance of making four. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. This is the second shot here on the ninth hole. for the five iron no oh, no is that heading towards the bunker that's not what they were looking for well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one Okay, step one complete, out of the bunker. Now let's go make a putt. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. It's tracking. Oh, that's frustrating. And this next putt, it's for bogey. drops and we're moving on John give us an update what's shaking down here on the ninth hole and this is Bryson DeChambeau's next shot this would be a great up and down from this spot That's, that goes down for an eagle oh this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course but no bother for this player. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our current leader is enjoying a seven stroke advantage. Welcome to this par five hole. Par five, 581 yards. Most players will be laying up for their second shots as a large pond on the right hand side of the green will collect your golf ball if you hit a wayward one going forward in two. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway. 
lining up from about 230 yards here. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Well, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. So close. Six feet remaining to the cup. I like the look of this. Oh, just missed. And that should secure the par. Well done. That's not your best effort on the greens. Current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Teeing off here at the 11th. Par four, 428 yard tree line hole. Difficult driving hole all the way around, but should you find the fairway, the second shot on a little plateau just above the fairway is very basic. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. There's been action of plenty all over this course. Why don't we head back to the 13th for this great shot? Let's take a look at Gary Woodland from earlier. Let's return to live play now. From around 140 yards here. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. A wonderful shot. A chance for birdie here on the 11th. He hasn't managed to birdie this hole this tournament. This is a good chance. Ooh. Can make this one. It's for par. Puddle drop. Well done. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. Par three plays 208 yards from the back. In saying that, this is a good birdie opportunity as the green is massive in size. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Outside chance here for the birdie. was a gallant attempt. This putt just five feet away from the hole. That starts off on a good line. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Now seven strokes up after that hole. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Par four, back up the hill, 418 yards, the widest fairway on the golf course. Avoid all those bunkers. Second shot up the hill to a narrow green that slopes off on both sides.
And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Well guys, over on the 14th hole, and this is a look at Bryson DeChambeau. Oh, that's a beauty. Great shot from the Boca. Let's get back to it, shall we? Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Looking better. Yeah, a bit long on that one. There's part of about six feet coming up. Okay, steady now. And this one will be for bogey. So after that hole, well, this is what the leaderboard looks like. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Par four, 357 yards. Almost every player in the field will be giving it a whirl. Knock it on, and you could be rewarded with an eagle, too. Uh, it's heading to the rough for mine. And this was from Billy Horschel from just a little while back. I gotta say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Oh, that's a beauty. How about holding that one? John, you're down there. Can you get out of this predicament? Yeah, they are deep down into this bunker. Uh, should be interesting to see how they escape this one. Oh, from one bunker to another. That's got to hurt. Getting ready to play their third. Mm -mm. Handy out of the bunker there. He's got a par part here. Let's see if he can make it. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Currently in first position. This hole here is a par four. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. Opting for the 9-iron. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. And here we are with the third shot. hands like that touch of a wizard and with that hole behind us let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders our leader is currently enjoying a four stroke advantage we have a par three on this one par three only plays 153 but a tricky little green to say the least don't let the beauty of the river to your left swallow you in. This is a tough but fun little par three.
Going with the 9-iron, I think. This one's going right at the pin here. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Well, guys, over on the 18th hole now, this is Gary Woodland's next shot. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. Well struck. Okay, let's get back to the action. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Players looking for a fast finish on the par five, 550 yards. Second shot does play up the hill, but there's plenty of room to miss your second shot around this green. Must make birdie for the players in the field. to have opted for the eight iron. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Would it be nice to make this putt? This is for Regal. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Five feet coming up to the cup. Looking good. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Still in the lead now after that hole. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Hard to describe the difficulty of this tee shot unless you've actually been here. Par four, 463 yards. Miss the fairway bunker down the right-hand side, and you've got a clear shot to a very narrow green surrounded by water on the left-hand side. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Second shot here at the 18th. to have chosen the seven iron. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. Looks good off the blade. Steady on. Four feet to the cup. It's on a good line. And that signs off on today's round. Well, this is lovely play, and it just confirms it after grabbing the 54-hole lead. Good playing, Rich. Lots of good playing out there. One round to go. This could be a very nervy final round. Lots of players. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvin. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.